Hey Mappers, it's been a while since I've done a video of any sort, and if you've watched uh, any of my other videos, they're extremely outdated and uh, almost nothing applies. So we're going to go over a quick video on updates. Uh, there's a lot of quality of life updates that HiveMapper has pushed out, a lot of bugs that have been fixed, overall making the mapping experience a lot more pleasant uh, than it was two years ago. All right, so let's jump right in. This is the settings screen on the Hive Mapper app. Uh, simply open up the app and tap that little gear icon in the bottom right hand of your screen, and that will bring this up. Uh, this is important because whether you are a new Hive Mapper just setting up your camera or are already Hive Mapping, it's important to know how to update the firmware on your camera so you're running the most current version. So near the bottom of the screen, you can see firmware version 4.4.26. This is outdated. So if you open this up, the HiveMapper app, if you'll notice at the bottom, it says installing version 4.5.12. Uh, it does this automatically. And so when it gets to a 100%, uh, you can then connect to the Wi-Fi that your camera puts out and it will automatically also update your camera. All right, so now you see that it auto-changed at the bottom to ready to install version 4.5.12 and as soon as it installs it, you'll notice that the top of your screen changes blue and says restarting dash cam. So this can be a little frustrating um, because your dash cam maybe doesn't restart. If this happens, then you're going to want to force close your app, power cycle your dash cam, which just means unplug it, wait 10 seconds, plug it back in. It will reboot, connect to the Wi-Fi again. It will re Your phone will automatically restart downloading the firmware and then reinstall it and then try to restart your dash cam again. Um, it might take a couple tries. Uh, for one dash cam, it worked the first time. For this dash cam, I had to attempt it twice, uh, maybe three times. Um, so keep an eye on your dash cam. Uh, it'll be confirmed installed if you see it. The lights go out and then you see it reboot back up and the lights slowly come back on again. Now that everything is uploaded, hopefully for you, let's take a closer look at the settings screen and the information that you're seeing on there and what that information means. So the first most important thing is your username, which is a random three word identifier. And you can use that on hivemapper.com to check out your individual stats. Uh, you can also use it to see if you might be encountering any problems. So one example would be um, that in the Hive Mapper dashboard, it shows you only have 100 miles when you know you drove 300 miles. So there might be a problem happening that you need to troubleshoot with customer support. Um, and when you do contact customer support, the first thing they're going to ask you is what's your three word identifier so that they can identif identify it and take a closer look at the data. Uh, right underneath, that's the mount rating. This is a recent addition to the settings screen and really nice because it takes the guesswork out of, did I place my dash cam correctly? Is it angled too far up or too far to the side? So they released a stat yesterday that said 91% of Hive Mappers were at a th uh, perfect score of four over four, like you see here. Only 6% were at three over four. The rest were uh, lower and probably need to take the 30 seconds to look at their dash cam view on the app, see what the dash cam is seeing and just do a quick adjustment. Um, get back up to that four over four because it affects your rewards. Uh, right underneath that, it says cellular image upload. Uh, what does that mean? That means that Hive Mapper will use your data plan when you're not uh, connected to Wi-Fi to do uploads. I have unlimited data, so I always have that toggled on. And to give you an idea of what daily driving, and I drive more than most, 
um, produces just on my data plan. I do about 1.2 terabytes of data uploaded. Um, and that does not count what I do on Wi-Fi. That's just 1.2 T on the, um, my mobile plan. Uh, then it has the current version of the app. Underneath that, the most important piece of info is your firmware version. Always make sure that's up to date. If it's not up to date, um, your HiveMapper app will be trying to auto update all the time. Uh, you don't want your Hive Mapper app or camera to try and be updating because while it's attempting to update, uh, you're not going to be getting any image transfers, uh, either downloading or uploading. The last thing I'll say uh, on this screen is right under firmware version, it says trip trimming. This is a privacy feature that was added which means that when you're um, leaving your house, the camera will not start recording for that um, 100 meters or whatever you specify it is. And we'll go over that on this uh, next portion as well. All right, here's what the dash cam uh, lights look like. There is no more green and red. If you're showing green or red, that means your firmware version is not up to date and you need to try to get it up to date. And as always, make sure the B is pointing up. In this picture right here, you can see that the GPS light is off as I just left home and it is doing the trip trimming, which means it will not start or light up until I'm 100 meters away. Um, also, sometimes um, one of the lights go out or there's something going on where you have to um, power cycle your camera. Uh, if you are constantly doing that, you're going to be missing out on mapping because it is going to think that you're just starting your car every time you do that and trip trim to whatever you have it set at in the settings. So try to limit power cycling while you're actively mapping. And here's a quick example of the map and some uh, problem areas. Uh, you'll notice that the white line, if you zoom in, is really a collection of small dots representing pictures. So in this example right here, you can see we have a broken white line in, um, in some sections. So what that most likely means is that um, either the GPS uh, connection was bad, and I don't start my dash cam while I'm using it all the time because I'm driving. But every now and then you will notice that that middle GPS light will uh, turn off intermittently, uh, meaning that it has lost your GPS fix. Also, you'll see a broken white line if you are power cycling while you are actively mapping because your camera, uh, one, might have not powered up. Uh, yet, or two, and more than likely, is that it is trip trimming because it thinks that you just started your car and left your house. So that's about it for the um, updates that I wanted to go over, and this video is already uh, way longer than I was hoping it would be. Um, I'll probably do another video for you guys, uh, common problems and troubleshooting, but for now just drive safe and happy mapping.